You want something? Go get it. Period. Good morning. Welcome back to a full day of eating. I've adjusted my calories like I mentioned in last week's video, so we're going to do a full day of eating around 2,100 calories high protein style. Happy Friday to me, happy Monday to you guys. It is St. Patrick's Day. I only have the green on my nails, that's all I've got on. I had a whole thing I was gonna wear and I was just not feeling it. Do y'all ever do that like when you're picking out your gym fit and you're like, I am just feeling this no matter what you originally planned and that is the motto for today. I am at my new gym, this is what, week two of me at the end of week two working out at the new gym and I am absolutely loving it. I'm finding like new equipment every time I go in there. It's insane. I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize they had this. And I tested out some stuff for upper body day yesterday, which was epic. And I'm just feeling so good, so strong with these new calories. So I know people are going to ask with the 2,100 calories I've been weighing, I weigh every single day just to the data. It's nothing. I could care less about the numbers. Y'all know for me, it is all about getting stronger, progressing and getting a certain physique and look that I'm looking for for myself. The numbers mean nothing. Go and check out that video that I just posted last week, the one that is titled, I've only lost 10 pounds. It's got great information in there and it's not just about like losing weight. It's about a body recomp and about how we need to have more positivity within ourselves. It's a really good watch, so go and check it out. But I've been weighing in the same every single day this week with upping the calories since the beginning of this week. So I'm happy where we are. I've tried to get them as high as I can before we go into our cut at the end of April. And the reason for that is, is you want to get your calories and get your metabolism as revved and as high as possible, especially before you go into a deficit. That way you don't have to set yourself so extreme. That's one thing I see a lot of you guys do that is not what you need to be doing is you keep cutting calories calories so low and you wonder why you're not losing weight. It's because your metabolism is shot. You shouldn't be cutting calories. You probably should be at maintenance, if not reserve, reverse all the things. Um, that's a whole nother video. And that's what that video kind of was about last week. So like I said, go check it out, but I'm trying to get them as high as possible. So I don't have to cut them as low and still get a lot of good results. I'm loving the way that my body is looking right now, as far as muscle mass, physique and stuff. And I'm excited about the cut that we're going to be doing at the end of April to really have everything a poppin' if that makes sense. Today is leg day for me, leg day number two. I had leg day, leg day number one is my hardest leg day of the week. This one's hard too, don't get me wrong. They're all hard, but leg day number one is the most challenging, let me rephrase that, with the deadlifts. They're not where I need them to be, but you guys are awesome over on Instagram. You gave me a lot of pointers and things, and it's so good to take the video, guys, because you might feel it might feel like you're doing things right and you might be doing things good. When you go back to look at the footage, you're like, oh snap, I need to fix this, this, and this to make your form even better. And form is key over the heaviness, guys. If your form is trash, make sure that you are like not doing a lot of weight and get your form right before you start adding the weight. And you know, I have to remind myself that the same because we want to always go beast mode. Sometimes you got to dial it back and work on the form first. And we're, we're working on the deadlifts. They, they're a work in progress let's just say that really loving the back squats that I've been doing I did them last week without a Smith machine and oh my gosh what a world of difference and they felt so good so I'm so excited to do back squats I never thought I'd be saying that I've got the pre-workout of flowing y'all know the PE science stack a lot of y'all asked if this gave you a tingly sensation I think in one of my last videos and no it does not and that's I used to love the tingly sensation but now I just like the like hyper jackness of a pre-workout and that's what the PE science stack does for me so I'm really enjoying it and the black cherry is my favorite favorite. I, I like the peach rings and I like the cotton candy too. Y'all asked about flavors, but I feel like there, I know it's just a placebo thing, but I feel like there's something extra in the black cherry. And when I do a different flavor, I don't feel as beast. I know it's all a mind effery, but I swear guys, I swear by it. So I'm going to get in here enough gabbing, enough talking. Let's go warm up and let's go and annihilate my legs. My booty is still on fire from Tuesday.
completely dusted. I'm completely dusted. This new gym is going to kill me in a new way. Here for all the newness, here for all the feels. If you're hearing a lot of background noise, as you guys can see, it is raining and I've got the windshield wipers on. I want to talk about what I talked about before. We actually went in the gym and it's to like not worry about the weight so much. Don't ego lift if that makes sense. And I have, like I said, I have to remind myself the same thing because I will do 12 reps with a particular weight and I'm like, okay, let's slap on the weight. Let's freaking go. And then I slap on the weight. I look at the video and I'm like, Ooh, my form has taken a little bit of back here. So it's, it's good to, it's okay guys. If you keep doing a particular weight at 12 reps for a little bit until you get the form down to where it feels right. And then add a, and I always say, don't knock the two and a half pound plates. So that is progressing up from what you've been doing. Add a little bit of weight. You don't have to go be smooth with the weight going up and then start your cycle over again to progress from there. And I had to remind myself today of that with the RDLs because last week I ended with 90 pounds and a lot of you guys are like girl you're lifting more than what you're saying because the bar weighs 45 pounds now that you're in like a, a legit gym over here and i know that but it's just easy for me to track like on my notes like i added 245 pound plates if that makes sense like i know it's more than 90 pounds but it's just easy for me to track and progress that way versus like adding the bar and all this stuff your girl doesn't like math okay but i had to take a step back today because i did do the 90 pounds on the rdls which what you saw in the video and then i filmed myself doing i think like 110 pounds or something as far as the loaded plates on and my form you could tell like it it wasn't bad but it wasn't like it was with the 90 and i'm like let's just keep rolling with that for a little bit until we're feeling it the free bar which a lot of y'all ask what a free bar is that is like not using a smith machine it's a bar that comes off the rack and you're able to load weights and it's like free to be able to move it you don't have the restriction of the smith machine and i will just continue with that until i get the form down it's all new to me anyway to get the feel and then we'll progress up slightly from there however we did go up today on the back squats which those are like my new favorite. I hated them at Planet Fitness because I can never get them down on the Smith machine. They never felt right. But now that we have a free bar or however you call it over there at the new gym, I am like getting low and man, I'm feeling those and they feel freaking fire and I feel like a beast. The power squat machine you guys saw where it's like I'm doing the good mornings on there. I got up to 200 pounds today on those and they're feeling, I did 12 reps. They're feeling freaking fire 12 or 10 reps and I'm so excited to see how I progress up on those and I'm just so excited to see the gains like with this new equipment and I know I might be a, a gym nerd but I am so freaking stoked about all the newness and don't be scared I had a lot of you guys mention in the past couple of videos that you're still scared at your gym to go into the free weight section you're just sticking to the machines which is totally fine there's nothing wrong with that to progress up on the machines and keep going that way but a lot of you guys it sounded like you want to go in the intimidation zone you want to go in the free weights you want to try something new you just aren't taking that leap and actually trying it and it's okay to be scared look I was I told you guys if you watch that video my heart was pounding out my chest when I did the tour for this gym now I'm going in there feeling like a freaking rock star and owning it you can do it don't be scared get out of your comfort zone guys comfort zones aren't going to show any progress okay you got to get out your comfort zone in order to see some changes in order to see a difference within yourself I'm telling you guys you're going to feel like a freaking beast once you make that leap and once you get out there and try something different. So I've just pulled up at Walmart. Um, I don't know, all the places close to the door are booked. Are like booked. They're gonna be like, girl, why are you parked so far away? I'm gonna eat my snack though while they're on the way. You know the drill. And y'all, these are the organic bananas from Sam's Club. I swear they're lying to us because the organic bananas here at Walmart never look like this. And this is after like four days. They're like brown as all hell. I think they're just putting organic on there, but they selling us the, the regular bananas. Sam's Club. Um, you'd be shady son so I got the, I got the organic bananas here at Walmart because they don't turn brown I'm telling you and a fair life shake y'all know the drill post-workout carbs protein let's get groceries and then let's get our third meal of the day in which will be lunch almost 1230 it is time for lunch are y'all ready for this high volume massive 
beast lunch we've got going on. I mean, taste the rainbow with this fruit we've got. High volume, guys, low calorie, keeps you full between meal to meal. I've been stressing it here, especially in the past few videos, guys. I can't stress it enough. High volume, high protein is the way when you are trying to lose weight. So we've got two servings of the peaches. That's the Del Monte, no sugar added ones in the can. I have been loving those. And almost the whole freaking can is 50 calories. As you see there, it's crazy. 150 grams of sliced strawberries, 150 grams of green grapes. And this is the bacon and egg Dilla quesadilla that I've made before, I think, in a full day of eating. So basically what it is, is like 180 grams of egg whites. You put your tortilla on there. That's the Banderita 45 calorie one, a slice of Colby Jack, four of the bacon slices, Hormel fully cooked. And we've got a total of, are y'all ready for this? This plate is massive. I ate it yesterday. It takes so long to eat, but it keeps you full so long. Almost dropped the camera. Oh Lord. 495 calories. Everything you see here is less than 500 calories. 37 grams of protein. We're carving up 71 total carbs, but most of our carbs guys are coming from the freshness right here and 14 grams of fat to fuel us until snack time. If you're new, we eat six meals a day around here, baby, even when we are cutting, which we are not cutting right now. We are just uh, trying to eat as much, gain as much until we cut next April. Oh yeah. If you are new, your girl is part of the happy plate club, as Waylon likes to call it. Meaning we never leave anything behind usually. It's rare that you see me leave anything behind on my plate. I mean, that's how we got to be 230 pounds from the get-go. Your girl's got a big appetite, all right? That's why high volume, high protein works for me, keeps me full meal to meal, so I'm not feeling like I'm starving. Even when you're in a deficit, guys, I mentioned in that video I did high volume versus like high calorie. When you're in a deficit and you're eating a lot of volume, you're drinking your water, it's gonna keep you full longer than you eating really small, dense, high calorie, process things meal to meal. I did want to mention in this video, one of you guys asked me on Instagram, I thought it was a great question. You were asking me how much like liquid do I drink per day? As of right now, I'm drinking a whole hydro jug, which I fill up to the very top. I'm not drinking two, just one. I do put lemon in it. And then I have a zero sugar soda, like right after lunch, I'll take my supplements with my water and then I'll do a zero sugar soda. Those Dr. Pepper wins, the strawberry wins have still been my favorite. Then I go in with a Redmond's electrolytes in the afternoon and then another zero sugar soda. So your girl is well hydrated. However, right now I look hella tired. I mean, we went hard in the gym today and have y'all been struggling with daylight savings time? It has been whipping my ass, no joke. I feel like last night, which was Thursday night, was the first night I actually got a good night's sleep. You can even tell on my watch because I wear my watch at night and it tells me my sleep score. It has been so poo since the time change versus what it normally is. So I know I'm not the only one struggling out there with the time change, but it's just now starting to get better. But man, I hate it. Like the for this week is the worst with the time change. I know some people love it. I am anti time change all the way. Almost three o'clock. I'm next level starving on leg day, even with the up calories. Like, and I am hungry, like right before the meal. So yes, those high volume meals, they keep me full. But like when it gets close to the next meal, your girl's like, dang, it's time to eat. And we have been loving just this low calorie peanut butter and jelly by Joe Duff here on YouTube on, on Instagram. He used to be primarily back in the day when keto, when I was doing keto, it was all the rage, right? He was primarily low, low carb keto stuff, but he's been coming in clutch with a lot of like, uh, low calorie, high volume, high protein hacks. I have to say, Joe, I'm here for it. And we've got the 40 calorie bread from Aldi. He calls for two and a half tablespoons, I think, of the PB Fit. And then you add a tablespoon of monk fruit to it. And then you also add your water until it gets to peanut butter consistency. And then he calls for one tablespoon of sugar-free jam. But Joe, come on, we gotta have two tablespoons, right? Like I like my stuff to be running out, my peanut butter and jelly, me licking the plate. You know how it is around here. So the entire sandwich, entire peanut, I mean, nothing slaps more than a good regular old PB&J. And I know Jen and a lot of people messaged me on Instagram was like, girl, you need to like put it in the pan. A pan fried or air fried peanut butter and jelly is like next level. I just like the plain Jane peanut butter and jelly, like so freaking good and hits so hard. 188 calories, 14 grams of protein, 42 total carbs and five grams of fat. 
carbs seem a little bit higher, but that's because we're eating this lower calorie bread. So the fiber is actually higher as well. Inhale that PB and J. I was on the phone with my mom and we were on the phone for like an hour and I was like, woman, I am starving. <laughs> I was like, I'm ready to eat my PB and J. And I just like inhaled it and it was oh so good. We're going in with our electrolytes. Y'all know Redmond's Relight is my absolute favorite. They've got a new formulation of electrolytes coming like Redmond's Relight Hydrate something. They've improved them is what I'm trying to say. So I'm excited about that. That's coming, I think in April, they said, but watermelon lime and pina colada is my favorite. And I told you guys in the last video, instead of me using like the Stanley cup that Built Bar sent us or any other cup, I've just been using a 16.9 bottle. So I'm not drinking as much because it was making me pee all throughout the night. So electrolytes every single day, even on rest days. Friday night dinner is leftovers. We've got two drumsticks that I cooked in the air fryer and put some of the Ray sugar-free barbecue sauce on top. We've got 100 grams of the Members Mark green beans. I've just got some Kinders on there. That's it. And then this was a box like potato kit from Aldi. It was a cheddar bacon smokehouse one. I wish I would have stocked up on it. It reminds me of the Velveeta. They don't even make them anymore. The Velveeta potato box ones with like the cheese packets of the Velveeta and they used to have like bacon and all. It reminds me of that so much. And the macros are on point. This is two servings by the way. So half of a serving would be 120 calories. Your girl's got two servings on there. For a total for my entire dinner is 590 calories, 51 grams of protein, 47 carbs, and 24 grams of fat. I do have skin on my drumsticks, but I'm not a big fan of it unless it's like fried or crispy right out the oven or the air fryer. So I don't like it um, non-crispy, if that makes sense. So I usually peel that back and that saves on calories and fat too. I told y'all, happy plate club, even though that's gross. But I've got comments in the past where I didn't show my plate and people are accusing me of throwing my food in the trash. Girl, like get real. We ain't throwing no food away around here. 7.30, never skip dessert. We are doing something that I was influenced by the gym nurse over on Instagram. She made me do it, I'm blaming it on her. This is the Blue Bunny Mini Swirl Strawberry Shortcake Cones. You get eight in here for 150 calories a cone. Actually, it's like 155 technically if you go by this number here and one gram of protein. So we're just eating this as a fun treat um, to like round out our macros for the day. You can incorporate fun things in your calorie deficit and your maintenance, whatever. Still lose weight, still see goals and results and be on plan. Let me open her up and see what it looks like. She may look big on camera, y'all, but she's tiny. But I'm here for the cone at the bottom and all of the shortcake. There's a lot that fell off in the bag. Yes, I will be uh, tipping that back and eating it. <laughs> Nothing left behind. So I'll let you know what I think about these in a minute. Update on the mini swirl strawberry shortcake, 10 out of 10. They are fire, like this white chocolate coating on there and then the shortcake pieces. And then when you get down into the cone, it is lined with white chocolate. Fire, okay, super good. Highly recommend. Thank you, Shannon from the gym nurse for the recommendation. And I forgot I had this in my macros too, a little salty sweet action to hit as close as I can. And I was like, first I was like, nah, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna do the cone. And I'm like, girl, you need to eat as much calories as possible or this ain't gonna work. Eat your calories, guys. So I'm doing a lesser evil popcorn bag, the Himalayan pink salt, it's just 50 calories. So we're gonna munch on that next. Okay, y'all, editing Nicole here. It is Sunday, I'm looking cray. I'm like, girl, why didn't you not film your ending yesterday when you were all dressed and you had makeup on and you looked presentable? You guys don't mind, I know. And I had some things I needed to wait to talk to you. Usually I don't do these editings on Sundays anymore, but I had to wait. But let me tell you the macros for Friday because again, we just left you, we've been leaving you hanging every full day of eating. So Friday, St. Patty's Day, we did 2,122 calories, 172 grams of protein, 259 total carbs, and 66 grams of fat. I mentioned that every day getting on the scale, I've been weighing the same. My weight has been around 155, 156 as far as a maintenance weight, which I'm happy with. That's the weight we ended with, with the 30 day challenge that we did back in August for the reunion. And we've maintained that weight ever since. So I'm, I'm thrilled about that. When I got on the scale yesterday morning on Saturday, instead of 156, we had dropped to 154. So it's just crazy how the scale fluctuates. So that's why I always stress guys, don't let the numbers get in your head. But that also tells me that, you know, these calories, they're working for me, which is also mind blowing because last year when we did 
lower calories than this, I had a phase where I was gaining and I wasn't maintaining. And it just goes to show how your body changes over time too. When you lose fat and you're replaced with muscle, your body burns more calories at rest when you have more muscle on your frame too, which I think we definitely do versus last summer and hence why the calories are now working in my favor, if that makes sense. So by the time we get to our cut, which I wanna talk about next, our shred, I might even increase them more. Right now we're over 2,100 calories, what I'm set to, and they have been spot on working for me. So I'm gonna keep rolling with it. If not, keep on going up and keep regressing. That's the plan until we get to the shred, which the shred is going to be on April 24th. So a cut is the same thing as a shred. And y'all have been asking before Christmas to do like an open enrollment for a shred, for a cut where we have like grand prize winners and we're all in this together. We have Zoom meeting calls. I do your custom macros, give you an example workout plan, example meal plan. So much information, so many resources are gonna be in this open enrollment shred. And I've already started working on it. God, I got, what the heck? I digress. Squirrel fuzz moment. But I'm gonna have the open shred available to you guys soon so i'm working on it right now like i said it's going to start for everybody on april 24th so go ahead and mark your calendars it's going to be a hundred dollars but it includes everything that i mentioned before plus prize winners and stuff i'm going to do a video probably dedicated to it i've already been given a lot of details and information over on instagram so if you're not following me over there follow me it will be limited to a number amount of people i already have over 100 people just on instagram is the only place i've mentioned it interested so i'm gonna have to cap it off at some point so when i do open it up it's gonna be like first come first serve once you pay your invoices once i have so many people i'm cutting it off until we do another one but i think it's gonna be awesome i'm gonna be participating in this one with you guys together so it's a win-win situation and i think it's a good way for us to all come together lift motivate and inspire each other of course prizes are fun to to work towards but the main thing that we should be working towards is for our overall fitness, health within ourselves, not so much a prize, but it's always a good incentive, right? Next thing I wanna talk about is the American Dream Nut Butter launch, the Hot Till You Drop launch, which is their Easter launch coming tomorrow. You're watching this on Monday on the 21st, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We've got two returning flavors and two new flavors. I did a review on my Instagram, a taste test, so I'm not going to go into detail here, but the two that I recommend you guys getting that were my tops is the returning Dirt Pudding Cashew Butter from last year. It is one of my favorites. I've eaten multiples of these before in the past, so I know it's really good and highly recommend it to you guys. And this is a new one. This is the Almond Butter Twisted Toffee Treat. Very, very good. So these are the two out of the four that I recommend to you guys. Also, they still have a lot of the past flavors on site. So if you get so much in your cart, you get free shipping. In Burgess gets you a discount as always. And thank you so much for using that code. It allows me to get these ahead of time to taste test for you guys and let you know my thoughts and recommendations. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do that. So thank you. But these are the ones I would get. Throw the other favorites in cart if you're running low. Don't miss out on this launch on Tuesday. So that's gonna do it for this full day of eating. I hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. That lets me know that you like them, helps me out more than you guys know, and I thank you so much. If you are new, of course, I'd love to have you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Click the bell so you're notified. A lot of you guys are telling me you're not getting notified of my videos. YouTube will unclick the bell, unsubscribe you from time to time. Don't ask me why. So make sure you're checking uh, your favorite YouTubers, not just myself, and making sure everything is clicked off so you're getting notified for your favorite videos. I'm super excited about that open enrollment for the shred coming up April 24th. I will have more details. I'm working on it. It will be open before the 24th, obviously. I have to do, get everything ready for you guys. So it'll be open a couple weeks beforehand so I'll let you guys know so you don't miss out i'll be posting that in the community tab here making a dedicated video follow me on instagram for real time updates i love you guys so much i hope you have an awesome day and i'll see you in the next video bye y'all